Welcome to Grace Yoga. We are going to do three postures today and a little relaxation. We're going to do the star posture, we're going to do goddess, and then we're going to do wide leg forward fold. So we're going to start with the star, and I'm going to invite you to hold your bandhas in each posture. And the bandhas, there's three bandhas. There's the Uddiyana Bandha, that's when you engage your Kegel muscles. Those are the muscles you, you use to stop yourself from urinating. And then the Uddiyana Bandha, that's when you bring your belly in and up. And then the last, the third bandha is the Jarandala Bandha. You bring your chin in a little bit and the tongue is going to come up on the roof of your mouth. These are energy locks. So they, they, when you lock that energy, no energy releases out of your body. So as you hold the posture and as you breathe and you build the prana and the life force and the energy inside your body, nothing can leak out. It increases and it builds as you hold the posture. So as you hold the bandhas, that will really increase and magnify the energy that you build in your body. So we're going to start with the star posture. We're going to bring the legs out to a wide foundation here. Wide legs. And you're going to bring your arms out. And let's hold those bandhas, all three bandhas. And you want to maybe tuck that tailbone under just a little bit. Shoulders are going to kind of go back and down. Engage the bandhas. And the star has five lines of energy. So I'm going to challenge you to hold all five lines of energy while you're holding the bandhas and breathing. It takes practice. The more you do it, the easier, easier it will be. The first two lines of energy is going to go down through the arms and out the fingertips. Feel those fingertips stretching out, engaged. And the second two lines are the legs. So feel the energy go down through the legs into the feet. And the feet are pressing into the earth and down, down into the earth, extending further into the earth infinitely. They just keep going. All lines keep going out infinitely. And that fifth line is from the crown and it's going to go up into the heavens. And you feel when you engage that line, your spine's going to elong elongate a little bit. Now we're going to breathe, holding those five lines of energy simultaneously and the bandhas as we build the energy. One more nice deep breath. Beautiful job, beautiful job. Bringing the hands to the waist. We're going to go into our goddess posture. So the first thing we're going to do is adjust the foundation, the feet. Heels are going to come in. And the toes are pointing out. I call this froggy feet. And then you're going to bend the knees. The knees are coming over the feet into a squat. Now you find the squat that works for you. Some people like to go really low and really challenge themselves. Some people just right here is good. Or anything in between. You find what works for you. And we're going to take the hands up. You can have the palms of the hands facing out or in towards yourself. Whatever feels best. I'm going to have them going out towards you. Hold those bandhas and breathe. Breathe in that life force, that prana energy as you hold those bandhas. Anytime you need to come out of any posture, feel free. This is about compassion and love for yourself. Beautiful job. Bringing the hands to the waist. Slowly coming up. Good job. Excellent job. And our last posture is the wide leg forward fold. First thing we're going to do is stick that tailbone out. You can still engage that Mula Bandha. Uddiyana Bandha is a little more difficult. With the Jarandala bringing the chin in, the tongue and the roof of the mouth. It's easy to engage. 
And what we're going to do, we're going to move at our hips. So the only thing that's going to be moving in my body except for my mouth is going to be my hip joint. So hinging down at the hips, hinging down, nice and gently. And when you get to the point where you can't hinge anymore, the back of your legs say they can't hinge anymore, release that spine and let that spine round and the head drop. Beautiful. And you can shake out that head. It feels so good. Bring the hands down to the floor. And breathe. Feel the beautiful, wondrous sensations in your body. And if you want to do a little stretch, or side to side, you can bend one knee and stretch the other leg. And just moving at your own pace, feeling the wonderful sensations, fully engaged, bringing all your awareness to sensation. Enjoying the sensations. Keep the breath flowing. Honoring your own rhythm and flow. Becoming fully present in your body to all those beautiful sensations. And then coming back to center. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to lift the head. Lift the head up as high as you can lift the head. This protects the lower back. You can bring your hands to your waist and then lifting the spine up. The tailbone is still sticking out to protect the lower back. And coming all the way up to a standing posture. And then you can bring those legs in and just shake your body out a little bit. Just enjoy shaking the body however feels right to you. Just enjoying that. And then we're going to sit down for just a seated posture. Just a short little savasana. So you can either lie down in a comfortable position or a comfortable seated position, whatever works the best for you. Always honoring your body, allowing your body to be comfortable and at ease. And what we're going to do is we're going to close our eyes and I want you to feel the earth underneath you supporting your body. Whether it's your back, the back of your legs, your buttocks, your feet if you're standing. And breathe and feel that support. And then noticing your physical body, where your arms are, your legs, your head, your shoulders. Just feeling that physical body, your hands, your feet. Bringing all your awareness fully present into your physical body. Feeling where it is in time and space, right here, right now. It's safe to be in the body right here, right now. And from this place of being fully present in your physical body, bring your awareness in and notice your emotions. There are no wrong emotions, not pushing anything away, not judging anything. And please don't even describe. That takes you from the feeling the emotions into the head and into the description of them. Just feel the kaleidoscope of all that you are. The emotional body, that sea of vast emotions. Let yourself feel, lean into it, bring it on. That aliveness. And now go into the sensations in your body. Feeling your heartbeat. Any tingling. Vibrating, pulsating. Feel that aliveness inside of you. Now 
Now go even deeper to that absolute still center inside of you. Where you are everywhere, nowhere, everything, nothing. Allow yourself to disappear. So the infinite grace within you can appear. And gently coming back into your body, into this moment of time and space, this glorious, sacred moment where you are you and you are aware. Thank you for joining me for Grace Yoga. May you have a blessed and beautiful day.